you know, I'll be saying random stuff at the beginning of my video, so I can make sure you can hear me. We're gonna start saying check one, check two, sound check one, sound check two. what's up youtube my name is kiana and welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome my name is kiana and i am a two mom to my loud <laughs> nine month year old daughter my mom's about to be 10 months actually she's about to be the big 10 moms double digits period 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 anyway today i'm going to be doing a q a as you can tell by the title and I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions, and you sure did, so I'm going to answer all of y'all's questions. You guys have been requesting this video for a very long time. So now I'm going to do it. So I have all of the questions right here on my laptop. We got to try that again. I have all the questions right here on my laptop. Okay, y'all. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold her because if I don't, she's gonna be very loud. The first question is, how is your mental health and what do you do when you feel overwhelmed or stressed? My mental health is actually pretty good right now. I get overwhelmed a lot and I end up getting stressed out a lot. So good thing that you asked that follow-up question. But on a positive note, I did just quit therapy last week. I closed my therapy out and now I'm done. I don't have to attend therapy no more because me, my mom, and my therapist all agreed that it was about time that I, I stopped because, you know, I wasn't having many issues and my depression seemed to be really under control. So there was really no need for me to keep meeting for therapy. So, yeah, that was super exciting. But um, when I feel overwhelmed or stressed, I try my hardest to take a break. And sometimes my breaks end up leading me to another, like, stressful moment because I took that break and then now, you know, I'm behind. And when I take my breaks, I usually always probably go to sleep or take a bath. I love taking my bath. Watch my recent... If you watch my recent video, you'll see my bath routine. I take baths a lot and I love taking them. I try to take them at least once weekly. And if I can't take a bath, then I'll either call a friend. Little buddy. I'll call a friend and talk to them and just, you know, laugh with them, you know. Things like that or i can get advice from them of course but that's how i you know handle my you know stress how has your body changed since you had summer i am actually going to be soon doing a nine month postpartum video i'm probably gonna film that right after i film this video but my body has um it's changed a little bit i wouldn't say this had a drastic change but i will say that um my stomach's the main area that changed you know my body has always kind of been like this for the past couple years i was really skinny growing up and then i you know had this burst of weight i started drinking boost which made me gain a lot of weight i was in like the 90 pound area and now i'm like 140 pounds like that's a big jump in a, in a few years i'd say maybe in middle school i was really really like tiny and now i'm kind of i have a lot of meat on me i'm a little bit bigger I still have some baby fat, which I'm not mad about because it's natural and I'm learning to embrace my natural, you know, look. <laughs> the next question is, how did you gain subscribers? I will also do a video on this because it's kind of a lot to go into. My biggest tips is to promote your channel prior to your first upload. If you promote it for like a couple weeks before you upload your first video, say, oh, get me to 30 subscribers and then I'll upload my first video. You got, you have to do stuff like that. You have to promote your um, channel on social media, get your friends to share it, get your family to share it. And once you do that, then you're pretty much set off good. You have, you know, you have yourself a little tiny audience, which if you promote, if you, if you put out good content, then your audience is going to be like, you know, check them out. They, they put out some really good stuff. They're funny. This and that. Sorry. You're talking too much, girl. I love when you talk to me. But right now, you like, you should a little bit, just dial down a bit. <laughs> Here. Another question is, how did you get to become a brand ambassador? And this is also a video that I plan on doing. There's a lot that goes into that. There's different ways to become a brand ambassador. There's things that you can sign up for. There are some websites where you can sign up to, like, you know, get sponsorships and stuff and have brands and do companies. But you have to have, like, a certain, like, amount of, like, followers or subscribers. You have to be a certain age. And some of them just point blank just do not really work. I've tried them, and I haven't really got too much out of it. But usually 
when I become a brand ambassador, the brands typically reach out to me or some brands like my own, Icy Perfections, which I'm not accepting brand ambassadors right now, but I will eventually. But some brands like that, you know, they put forms up where it's like you can sign up to be a brand ambassador and you can sign up and there's a chance that you can become one. You can also reach out to companies. I will speak from experience. Um, most companies do not like when you do that. I personally do not like when I get DMs asking about, you know, can I be a brand ambassador? Are you still looking for brand ambassadors? Because if I was, I don't mean this in like a mean way. If, if I was looking for it, you'd probably be able to find that on my page. I try to keep all information about my business on my page. And if you don't see anything about it, then most likely I'm not looking for it. But I understand, you know, you might, you'd be curious, you might just want to try it out. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Another question is, favorite thing that being a mother has gotten you? It's giving me a sense of strength. It's giving me a reason to live for. That's the number one thing. Life gets hard. Life gets really challenging. And I just feel like giving up. But I can never give up because of this little girl right here. I never give up. And I never will. I'm just overall just really a more confident and determined person. And I get more done. And it's it's been amazing to me. How is it being a teen mom? Now, y'all. I'm going to also make a video about this. I know I keep saying that as a response. But some of these topics y'all want to know about, I have a lot to say about. And being a teen mom is just... It's, very, it's a lot of work because what people don't understand is that there's always going to be that one person. Either yeah. it's on social media or it's a friend or it's a family who's just a hater. And what people don't understand is that, you know, once we have the baby, we can't really go back and, not, and get rid of it. So why do you want to criticize us for our life decisions? Now, I understand, you know, constructive criticism or like, you know, showing people that, you know, maybe next time don't do it like this. But some people literally be out here bashing teen moms. Bashing us. What made you do YouTube? A lot of people told me I should do it. I was never known in my city. But when I got pregnant, my post got like a thousand likes in like a few days. My post blew up. I don't know how. And I never understood why. Because my page had like 300 followers. Actually, no. My page had like a thousand followers. But... <laughs> After I had um, made a post about me being pregnant at 14, I had like 2,000 followers the next day. Like, it was crazy. And then everybody was like, oh, start a YouTube channel, start a YouTube channel, do this and that. I've always done YouTube my whole life, but I've never, like, kept on with it. I kind of would give up in the middle, and I would just kind of, I don't know. It would never take off how I wanted it to. So I was like, you know what? I have YouTube experience. Everyone's telling me to do it, so I'm going to do it. And I did, and here I am. <laughs> Another person said, I'm new to being a teen mom and I need advice on to stop making my baby daddy a priority. Now, a lot of people ask me questions like these. I never really know what to say because you never know somebody's situation beyond what they're telling you. And I'm going to speak from my experience. There's not really anything I can say you could do, but there's three ways to think about it. A baby is never going to make a guy stay with you. Never. If they don't want to be with you, they're not going to be with you. Two. It's not the child's loss. It's not your loss. It's his loss if he don't want to take care of his child. You do not need that man or boy, whoever he is, to take care of your child because you can give your child the best life you want on your own. And then in the future, find yourself a man to be the stepfather, this and that, yada, yada, yada. And three, half of these boys out here are just dumb anyway like some of these boys i just wouldn't even want around my child because you're dumb you don't have you don't know how to take care of a child and especially with teens most of these boys do not know how to take care of children yes there are some i will give them their props but there are some teens out here who don't know a thing about having a child get out my face i gained a mentality where i'm just like up out my face boy up out my face boy Please, can you do a cooking video yes baby i can i write that down um i don't really cook that much but i am trying to do like baking i'll do some baking videos but <laughs> cooking i'm gonna have to look for some recipes um i can make a seafood boil though y'all want seafood boil because we can do that I mean, we can do that <laughs> how is summer doing she is pretty darn good look at her she's nice and happy she, um, the only thing I'm really having issues with is she doesn't want to eat. We cannot get this girl to eat food at all. I remember in a, I, like, in my morning routine, in my, in my night routine video, I'll let you guys know that I couldn't get her to eat. And I still have not been able to get her to eat. I still have it. I went to the doctor about it and everything. I cannot get this girl to eat. <laughs> the same person also asked, are you and Summer's dad friends? 
and I'm gonna, you know, be extremely honest with you guys before. Before, I could not speak about it for legal purposes, but now that that's pretty much over with. Um, for Summer's best interest, me and him do not have a relationship. We are not friends. We don't even really speak to each other at all, really. Um, we, when he comes to see her, we do it through a third party person, which is either my mom or his mom. I haven't really talked to him in a really long time. I haven't came in contact with him, and that's just for her best interest and also me and him's best interest because we've had a rough path it's not an appropriate time to you know try and work in a relationship i do want to co-parent with him later but not right now just because right now it's just not not enough time how's your businesses going they're going good one of my businesses are very is extremely overbooked i cannot accept no more orders on my IT perfection page i have 18 orders to complete and baby i'm just so tired I am tired. I went from 25 to 18 and I feel pretty good, but I'm also kind of in the back of my head like I cannot do this. I'm so close to just sending out a whole lot of refunds because baby, I'm just, I'm exhausted. I just, it's so tiring y'all. I don't think y'all understand how tiring it is to make a flower letter from scratch, package it, take it to the post office, like it's tiring. But it's going good, it's just stressful. <laughs> How do you cope with the pandemic so well? This is something I've never really thought about because I feel like the pandemic never affected me like it has everyone else. There are moments where I'll get really sad because you know I haven't been able, I haven't been like to a party or I haven't been to like a public place, a concert, something, something where there's a lot of people around. And sometimes it does get to me like it's kind of like you know wow I haven't been around a crowd of people in so long. I haven't been to school in so long. Like all these different things that really you know kind of bother me. But I am my homebody. I don't like people, like I said. <laughs> and I stay home most of the time. So me just being home with Summer is honestly enough for me. How would you explain your experience of being a first time mom so far? I wouldn't say that I love it because it is stressful and it does. Yeah. I would, there's nothing that I would do differently, but I just. I don't know it's gonna be a while before i ever do this again obviously one because of my age and two because it's just it's hard raising a kid is hard and i'm not sure i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to do this in a long time <laughs> what school are you going to and what grade are you in i am in um 10th grade about to go to 11th grade next year junior season period but i go to tap which is a teenage parent program and yeah, that's it. Do a Q and A with your boyfriend. You guys look great together. Thank you. And we filmed one, and then me and him ended up actually taking a break, and I deleted the footage. So we're gonna do one again, but I already filmed one. I don't know how he's gonna feel about having to redo that over again, because <laughs> he would not speak up in the video. He was just so quiet and monotone. And I was like, "Speak up, speak up. They can't hear you. This and that." And he's just not a camera person. But he wants to do the video. Like, he wants to start a YouTube channel himself. But he's not a camera person. What app do you use to do your thumbnails? I use Adobe Photoshop. Do you hate your stretch marks from your pregnancy? Sometimes they, like, when I wear a crop top or something, they show, like, a lot. And it bothers me sometimes. But, like, like I was saying before, I've learned to try to accept it. And sometimes, like, I find them cute. Like, I do find them cute sometimes. What do you want to do after you graduate? And do you plan on graduating early? When I first was pregnant, I did have plans on graduating early, but I never really stuck to them. And at this point, I'm so stressed out by everything I'm already doing that I don't think that I'm going to attempt to graduate early. I don't think I am. It will be an interesting thing to try, but I don't really know how exactly I would feel doing it. Like, there's a lot of extra work and I'm already doing so much. So, But after I graduate, I plan on going to college and um, majoring in graphic design. We're going on to the last um few questions somebody asked how many kids do you want i want two or three mainly just two i don't know if i'm gonna do three but i want a girl and a boy i want a boy <laughs> and i'm gonna get my boy that's why i say three because if i end up having another girl i'm gonna try again for a boy because i want a boy if you have a boy what name would it be i want to name my baby justice but everybody tells me a super white name i love that name i think the name justice is super cute i also like the name kai so Kaya Justice, those are my two, you know, go-to boy names. That is it for this Q&A. Those are the last of the questions. 
if you all enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video say bye say bye Say back, say back, ay, 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 say back, girl. That's my girl. Say back, girl.